Section 5.5 is laws and properties of logarithms. So here are some properties of logarithms. I would pause the video and write these down. So if you have a logarithm with a base and two things multiplied inside, then you can split them up into two logarithms with the same base added. Similarly, if you have something divided inside a logarithm, you can split it up into subtraction. You can also go the opposite direction. If you have two things added with the same base, they have to have the same base, then you can combine them together to be multiplied. Same base subtracted, you can combine them to be divided. If you have a logarithm with something raised to a power inside, then you can actually bring that exponent down in front. This is derived just from the multiplication one above. Exponentials are just repeated multiplication. So m to the k is the same thing as m times itself k times, which means you can split it up into log base m added to itself k times, which simplifies down to this. Using the rules from the previous slide, expand these two Logarithm. So there should be nothing multiplied or divided inside a logarithm and no exponent. So use all the rules to expand and then also to go the opposite direction and simplify this logarithm down here down into one logarithm. So first I split up the multiplication. I have log base 6 of m cubed plus log base 6 of n squared. And then I took the exponents and brought them down in front. So you end up with 3 log base 6 of m plus 2 log base 6 of n. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and pause the video and try the next two. The first thing I did is I took this square root and made it a 1 half power and applied it to both the numerator and the denominator. And then I took this division inside a logarithm and subtracted the two logarithms. And then the last part was I took these exponents, each individually, and pulled them down in front of their respective logarithm. So you end up with 1 half log base 2 of m minus 5 halves log base 2 of n. So now in the last one, we want to go the opposite direction. We're given the expanded form, and we want to write it in its simplest form. So again, I worked backwards. I took what was out in front and went backwards and made them exponents, and then made this subtraction in between division inside because they're the same base. It only works if they're the same base. I dropped the 10 because not writing it is the same thing as writing it, but you could have written log base 10 the entire way through. So now we're going to do some challenge problems that utilize our logarithm laws that we've been talking about. So we have these logarithms, log base 10 of 2 is equal to 0.3, and log base 10 of 3 is equal to 0.48. We also know from previous section that log base 10 of 10 is equal to 1, and log base 10 of 1 is equal to 0. We're going to use these four to help us evaluate these four down here without using our calculator. So there are different ways to split up 18, but remember our logarithm laws are only multiplication, division, and exponents. So we want to set up some either combination of multiplication, division, and exponents of these four to help us evaluate this. For example, 18 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 2. That's using our 3 here and our 2 here that we have. So now we can use our logarithm law to split this up to evaluate. Multiplication inside becomes addition outside, so we have log base 10 of 3 plus log base 10 of 3 plus log base 10 of 2, and now we can take what we know those are equal to and add them together. Just replace the log of 3 with 0.8 and the log of 2 with 0.3, added them together, and you get 1.26. So now I want you to pause the video and try the other three. They're going to be difficult, but be creative. So here are the solutions I came up with. There are possibly different ways to solve these, but all of your answers should end up being the same. All of these utilize just these four plus the logarithm laws. The last part is change of base formula. So if you want to evaluate log base A of B, that's equivalent to log base anything of B divided by log base the same thing of A. Normally, the way that you're going to use this is if you want to evaluate using your calculator. Your calculator only has log base 10 and log base e, the natural log. So normally, you're going to use one of those two for your change of base formula, but technically, it can be any base. So for your calculator, if you want to evaluate log base a of b, you would do log base 10 of b divided by log base 10 of a, or natural log of b divided by natural log of a.